Oh, boys and girls, this is Josanne Wright Callender, the author of the Happy Little Garbage Truck Picture Book and Educational Program. We were talking about how we have different feelings because the Happy Little Garbage Truck was going about his work and we said that he was very happy because he was helping his community by keeping it clean and tidy. And also in our storybook, we were talking about how when the community became very large and he could not get out because he was placed in the garage. And so the happy little garbage truck became very sad because he couldn't take care of his community. And until the friendly man came by and got him out of that garage and took him to another small city. Well, those are feelings and we all have feelings from time to time and feelings change they come and go <clears throat> excuse me and um so what we're thinking about is our will of choices can help us maybe solve some of those feelings that aren't pleasant <clears throat> so um in our will of choices that we created last week we were talking about how when things are not going well or we feel like somebody's being mean or, or making us angry, we can tell them to stop. And that's why we made that little icon or that little picture. Sometimes we feel sad and we don't know how to share our feelings. And sometimes it might be just somebody has taken the game that we wanted or we don't know how... Um, if we didn't get the thing that we wanted, it's a good idea to <clears throat> go to another game or go to another activity or take a book out or get some music, something that will take our minds off of the thing that we didn't get and replace it with something that is pleasant. <clears throat> Sometimes, sorry, boys and girls, <clears throat> we might feel... <clears throat> pardon me, that we are confused. We don't know, you know, what it is that we are supposed to be doing or how to do that work page. And it might be a good idea just to ask for help and ask an adult or somebody in your group that you're working with, and maybe they can help you. But, you know, if you ask for help, use your words, you might find out that, oh, you know, it was easier than you thought. And then sometimes when we're feeling very warm inside and we want to let our friends know how much we care about them and love them, it's a good idea to let people know by using your words, saying, you know, I really like you, or smile, or share your toys with them. So we always have choices. That's the major thing that I wanted to share with you today. And by practicing these skills, using your words, telling either someone to stop, telling someone, I like you. When you're feeling sad, go to another game. When you're feeling confused, ask for help. When you practice these activities for the different feelings that you have, after a while, you, it becomes more and more a part of you. It gets into your brain and you will say, oh, yeah, that's right. My will of choice said to ask for help. Can you please help me? And you always are polite when you ask for help. So what we are going to try to do this week is practice using our choices. And we'll see how much better we are at making those choices before we get frustrated or before we get really sad and while we're feeling happy, we'll know what to do. And we'll always use our words. Because, you know, practice makes perfect. And the more you practice, the better you will get at using your will of choices. Okay, thank you so much. And we'll see you next Monday. Have a great Monday Monday. Bye.